In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can detect objects with holes from images. So this is what actually I want to achieve. Open an image and uh, this image has some sort of objects with hole and let's apply it. You can see that we remove the objects without hole. Let us get started. I have already created a project and configured it to use EMG UCV. You can check one of my previous videos. So let me go to the process object detection and add a menu item here and call it detect objects with holes. Double click on the menu and then this event will be created. So I'm going to write the code here. The first thing that I'm going to do is the try cache block. So try cache will allow me to work even though there is an exception. So exception show ex dot message. And also check if my picture box has an image or not. If it doesn't have any image equals equals null, then I will return. Otherwise, I will process it further. So first thing I am going to do is to create an image variable and read the picture box image. So I'm going to create a new bitmap picture box one dot image. And I need to convert it into a EMG UCV structure so image gray and depth is bytes and also I can optionally do a smoothing so dot smooth Gaussian with a kernel size of three okay and I can uh, apply the binary threshold and so I just call it variable gray is equal to image dot threshold since my background is white so I'm going to apply inverse threshold with a value if it is greater than 200 it will be background and it will be replaced with 255 okay so let me change this one into variable okay then we need to find the contours so to store the contours i'm going to create a vector of vector of point contours is equal to new vector of vector of points and also we need to store the hierarchy information so i'm going to create a mate object so, uh, so i just can call it mate is equal to new right now i'm not using the hierarchy somehow and uh, now i can use cv invoke dot find contours to find the contours within my binary image so the image from where I want to find is the gray and these are the contours where the results will be stored and the hierarchy will be in the mate. And the retrieval type is external. I am only interested in obtaining the external controls and approximation is simple approximation method. Once we have contours, we can loop through the contours and uh, find out the objects with the holes. So this is what but before that I need uh, a logic uh, an empty image for example so I'm creating create gray dot copy blank and now I can loop through all the contours and find out which contours have their uh, holes in them or not so I want to remove the contours without holes so contours dot size and i want to make sure that the contours have some area minimum area so that i can process so i will be using cv invoke dot contour area and i'm going to give every contour one by one using the index and if this area is greater than let's say 50 so there are 50 pixels at least inside it then i will process so I'm going to create a bounding box for the contour. So I am using CV invoke dot bounding rectangle and I'm going to give the contour with the ID. So contours and the contour that I want to find out is the ith indexed contour. And this will help me to also let me first draw the contour on this blank mask which i created so draw contour mask contours and ith contour i want to draw it and i can give a color so i want to make it white and also 
remember to set it minus one it will be a field contour now i want to set the roi of my gray region to be the bounding box so that i want to work within this area only the area of the bounding box and also i am working in the same region for the mask both mask and a gray are of the same size so once roi is set for both now i want to find out how many pixels are white in both of the gray image as well as the mask so i can say gray non-zero is equal to gray dot count count non-zero so this will give me the white pixels in only that region also i will count the number of white pixels in the mask so this one will give me mask dot count non zeros remember that the mask is filled region the contour is filled while gray non zero is may not be filled if it has holes then we can find the difference between the number of pixels between these two contours so if this is something greater than some threshold it means that there we can assume that there are some holes present in the object because i have drawn this uh, the same contour are the same object but i have filled it in the mask so if it has doesn't has any holes then there will be no difference in the number of pixels if it has holes in the original then there will be less number of pixels in the gray so we can find the difference between the pixels to give us an idea so what i am going to do is integer difference is equal to i need the absolute difference so i am using math.absolute and the absolute difference of the gray non-zero pixels at zeroth index because it is giving us an array and also mask at zeroth index, only one channel. And if this difference is less than or equal to, let's say, some threshold, uh, I have not created this threshold variable, I will create it right now. Or we can directly write it, but it's better to create a local variable. So I'm going to with the help of Visual Studios, I'm going to create a local variable and uh, we can set its value to be, for example, maybe I can put it right here. And uh, let's say if this difference is less than 10, in, then we can say that there is some hole present in the original image. And I want to set the value of the original image to be same as the background for this uh, mask so for this contour i am making it to be the background you can say because there seems to be holes no holes in it so and also one more thing i am i need to make sure that since i have worked with the roi i need to remove that roi also after using them so for both mask.roi is equal to rectangle dot empty. That's it. And once, uh, one thing more, mask.set or dilate to make sure that the boundaries are covered. So I just need to make sure that the uh, if we draw the differences, then there should be some uh, pixel values around it also. They should not be, when we are setting the uh, background then i want to see uh, set its value to be zero and also i used it once for the mask for each uh, contour so i'm just going to set after using the mask to be zero so that it will be a blank mask once we remove these elements and we can uh, add them into the tree view so i created this uh, method add image so we can pass since it is expecting a bgr so i'm going to convert this img into bgr and they give it a title for example like object maybe objects with holes it's self-explanatory and we can show the picture so img dot picture box dot image is equal to img we need to convert it into to bitmap so let us run the application and see the results 
So let me open an, an image file open and uh, I created an image. So let me select this image and uh, let me apply object detect object with holes. Okay, but still the uh, it has find the objects, but the I wanted to set them to the background, but I still see the border. So uh, let me remove the the border also. Maybe the I missed the dilation. There is some problem with the dilation. So let me check it. And here I did the dilation two times, and. Uh, Okay, let me bring it here inside and yes, I just found that I needed to if I do the dilation like this Then I must have assigned it to the mask or something like this mask is equal to because mask is still the original mask or I can do the in memory by Putting an underscore so this will directly affect the mask. So the mask is changed now. So let's see it again I hope this one is working fine now. So file open and uh, let me select the same image again. And this time if I do objects with holes, so now you can see that the, uh, the objects without the holes has been removed and the objects with the holes are present here. So this is how we can implement to identify the objects with holes this is one of the way that i have implemented and you can try there are many ways you can try and hope to see you in another video